Hi, this is Lenny Kaiser, Senior Editor of ClearanceJobs.com. Welcome to the Identity Theft and Deep Fakes edition of your Security Clearance News Update. We posted a great article this week about deep fakes and your security clearance. What are deep fakes? The access of video editing technology has made it easier than ever to create content that looks absolutely real. So it's vitally important to make sure you verify the information you're looking at and sharing online. It's important for security clearance holders to understand what information they're putting out there and what's accessible. Um, we have, a, again, in the article on the news site, it talks about deep fakes and specifically, um, have they caused a security clearance denial? We're not aware of any cases, but it's advisable if you have an active federal security clearance, if you're working in the national security space, know what photos of yourself are out there and know how they're identified online. We do know examples of individuals who have seen their profile data that they've posted publicly used to create a fake profile and then be used by hostile intelligence services. So this happened a ton in the military when I used to work for the army. We constantly had general officers showing up on online dating sites, not because they were looking for their next love match, but because our adversaries were creating profiles um, to filter information and in large part for financial scams. So to try to get hustle people for money and get money. But just know what you're putting out there. Um, know how your photo's showing up. The next thing that came up was I had a question come in this week about identity theft and your security clearance. We have several articles on the clearance job site that address identity theft. So look those up, but our articles include four tips for what you can do if identity theft happens to you. Number one, contact the credit bureaus and have a fraud alert placed on your account. Number two, go to your local um, police department and off or office and file an identity theft report. Number three, get a copy of that report and provide it to the credit bureaus. I don't think it'd be terrible to provide it to your company or for your facility security officer as well. Let them know what happened, inform them, provide them a copy of that file. Number four, after that, just stay vigilant. Um, you can certainly have a hold placed on your credit so you're aware um, when new credit inquiries come up. There are a lot of other things you can do to really protect your credit, lock it down. We have more articles about that on the Clearance Jobs News site. Again, moral of the story, just always be vigilant. Um, everyone right now is a target and certainly security clearance holders even more so a target for having your data and your information lifted. For, as always, for more news, for more tips on identity theft, deep fakes, other security clearance news information, visit news.clearancejobs.com. Bye.